It was amazing how the women were suffering. I thought it was only in our home and I thought it was only in Ireland because that's where I came from. We needed to do something about it. And we need to keep on doing things about it. Because domestic violence is still on the agenda now and you know how important it is now for women. And one woman a week is still dying. We can't allow it to have that happen. And we have to have a say. And um, I think if women got more power, we could change the world. I don't know that I can be specific about um, what changes need to happen because I think women do that as they, they are moving through life. Uh, they're changing the things that they know that they can do from what they used to do to what they want to do today. They've got so many choices. Uh, uh, so I, I, I just think that uh, women um, will continue to be like that. I think about Julia Gillard being the first female Prime Minister in Australia and you know there's someone finally to aspire to who's the, the top person of Australia and is making decisions to guide Australia into the future and so that was a really significant thing for me. Me being a sporting background I think the AFLW was a significant step forward in progression for Australia and to see girls being able to play at an elite level as the men have always done. The progress that I see is women not sublimating their intelligence to men. Uh, the ability to be a norm, to go into university, to have management roles, to be members of parliament as a norm, that's the greatest change I've seen. A very important achievement was the ability to get women to serve on juries. The government was persuaded that they could save a lot of money if they put women on juries, juries because they could pay them less than men, which was a good argument, which succeeded. Terrible to think about that now, but it was a means to achieve a very good end. We are nowhere near far enough along. Wherever there's more pressure, you tend to find that women are doing even worse. So it's all right for me to feel okay about the journey that women have been on. We have to reach back and make sure that every woman is there. So are we over halfway? Probably, but we're not there yet. We have witnessed significant changes to government policy and a shift in community attitudes. Um, that to me has been extremely pleasing, but also again, for me is we must remain vigilant to ensure that we continue the fight of addressing violence against women. The more that we can enable women to uh, participate fully in the workforce, um, that provides them with um, economic independence, um, assists them with, um, with their families, and indeed I think we also need to look towards um, men being able to do more of the, the family support. Educated women who understood the significance of this, who wanted to fight for education for girls, for example, uh, these were the women that took up the, the, really the mantle, marched in the streets, uh, made the noise, uh, insisted that they have a role in the political process, uh, and, uh, and that really came from a very broad spectrum of backgrounds, uh, but uh, in short, uh, it had to be done because there were many women who didn't have a voice. I hope that women and girls will realise their full fundamental human rights and that means there aren't discriminations against women and girls when it comes to the work that they can do or the jobs that they can hold. And of course it means equal access to economic and social opportunities but specifically, and this is one that's dear to my heart, making sure that women and children, and men for that matter, are all free of violence and free of the fear of violence. I have a message for young women and old women together, but if I have your permission, I'd like to sing it. I'd like to sing, don't be too polite, girls, don't be too polite. Show a little fight, girls, show a little fight. Don't be fearful of offending. In case you get the sack, just recognize your value and you won't look back. I find women have got the most extraordinary ability to work on all these different levels, um, both creatively, intellectually and emotionally, and that's what women have.